This game is rated M and is intended for mature audiences. <laughs> the end. <laughs> Me hey, you know, Aminate, not all of us are professional chefs. Some of us, like Michiru, are okay eating Stouffer's frozen pizzas every di dinner. <laughs> Take out the tuna, and that's actually pretty good. <laughs> you, Makina, are you intending that as an insult? Because garlic is freaking amazing. Why are you guys being so mean to this girl? I do not support this bullying that is happening. <laughs> this is pretty tame, honestly, but they just keep laying into Michiru. And unapologetically. <laughs> like that! Like, who says that? Wow. うーん、ま、話すと長くなるんだけどさ。うーん。みんにどう見られるかって言葉から気にしていると自分のセンスが少しずつずれていっても気が付きにくいのよね。What <笑> <laughs> yes, Michiru, dish it back! <laughs> yes! <laughs> That's not how that works, Makina. You, you better not be eating her Stouffer's French bread pizzas. This girl literally has no social skills at all. You just ate the girl's pudding. That means you have to die now. You don't take people's food without their permission. It's 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 a scummy thing to do. <laughs> okay, in, in her defense though, Michiru, if if it's like one of those kid cuisine TV dinners, the the dessert is not even all that great. <laughs> yeah, we got it. We got a we got a <laughs> We gotta get Machina to fix that part of her. <laughs> Is Michiru actually, like, putting her in a headlock? What the heck? <laughs> That's nice of you, Amine. <laughs> Baked pudding, um, sure. Did Makina just eat, like, a frozen dinner pudding without actually heating it up? That's weird. <laughs> we'll get you a bloomin' onion. <laughs> it was the blizzard of the month at Dairy Queen. Sonoma <laughs> 
確かにちょっといいかもかぼちゃアイス No! マケナ Bad! Stay away! あんたはもう私のプリン食べたでしょうがこれはもう私のよマキナあんたちゃんとミチルに謝ったの Yeah, th thank you! See, I, I like this side of Amine! I believe that. <laughs> it's okay, Yuji doesn't believe in dessert. <laughs> like, literally, it's not even just Yuji doesn't eat dessert himself. He literally doesn't believe the concept of dessert exists. <laughs> I bet you that Makina ate it instead. What? I know. Never tried tried that. Then why are you excited for pumpkin ice cream? <laughs> Michiru is not one of those girls who's obsessed with pumpkin spice lattes at Starbucks. She's now best girl. <laughs> I'm invested in this conversation. This, this is good. <laughs> マキナは。I wouldn't know. I can't drink milk without gagging. カステラと牛乳とかカリントと牛乳とかうんまあカステラはわかる気がするし確かに甘いものならねえんマキナカレーも牛乳で食べるよねん<笑> That would actually probably be good because the milk would cut the heat of the curry You know what? I'd abbreviate that too. I don't know what any of these Japanese words are. <laughs> now we're talking. <laughs> Although I prefer just rice to noodles. I'm invested! This is like a... <laughs> This is the kind of conversation that I would have with my family. We talk about food a lot. <laughs> Meanwhile, unbeknownst to anyone, Yuji is heating up his own Stouffer's French bread pizzas. That's cause Yuji would eat like straight canned beans without complaint, otherwise. <laughs> Mitru, you should heat him up a Stouffer's lasagna. Just sh impress him with your cooking skills. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know if anyone's told you this, Makina, but there's this thing called lying. 
気に好き嫌いはないし苦手だっていうお肉だって出せばちゃんと食べるしね<笑>むしろガーリックチキンしか食わないチルチルの方がおかしいのよさかぼちゃも嫌い牛乳も嫌いってそんな好き嫌いばっかり言ってるから Oh no there are two types of food you don't like How dare you 髪の色関係ないから<笑>She literally goes through hell. Well, not literally. But it's an experience. It's torment. Wow! I'm sad to say it, Michiru, but probably. Wow! I'm willing to bet that all of these like constant insults at Michiru's expense are are either right now taking a toll on Michiru's like mental health or like <laughs> Like well being, or it will in the future. That I'm just throwing that out there. <laughs> that I must have missed that Grimm's fairy tale. I want to see Michiru with black hair. I feel like I feel like she would pull it off better. As Michiru shrieked and threw up her hands up in rage, it seems that her completely melted puddle of pumpkin ice cream scattered in a syrupy spray in the hallway. Hearing this story as I ate my dinner that night, I nodded thoughtfully and offered a few wise words. The word blonde doesn't indicate a hair color alone. It describes an entire way of life, tragic as it may be. That is 100% not true. <laughs> this game is lying to you. Oh, oh, the laundry room. Now, this is a new one. Either that, we may have seen this at, like, the very beginning, but I, th I think this is a new one. Oh, man, we've got a drink machine? We can get us a, a Sprite. I want to get a Sprite. There are many kinds of heroes in this world. The famous heroes who really existed, like Jean d'Arc, the female commander who broke the deadlock of the Hundred Years' War. The heroes of legend, like Hercules of Greek mythology, who carried out the Twelve Great Labors and fought the forces of chaos in the Gigantokamaki. Uh, that is not how you say that. Whoops. Even the small heroes, whose names are quickly forgotten, like the anonymous man who selflessly protected a young girl from vicious stray dogs. But among all the varieties of heroes, the admiration of children is mostly reserved for the super category. Composed of flashy characters who use special powers to fight for justice in comic books and television shows. Oh, Bionic Bunny! <laughs> Originally, a superhero is supposed to protect the weak and crush evil, but... These days, matters aren't quite so clear-cut. It seems mysterious superheroes with unclear motives have come into fashion. I learned of their existence not too long after entering my new school. Ta -da! Ta -da! Oh, no. <laughs> it would be these two. Who would watch the superhero? Actually, no, I feel like it would be Makina and Michiru who would watch it. Sachi looks dead serious. <laughs> I freaking love that expression on Sachi. Actually, I love the expressions on both their faces. It's great. Are you cheering for a commercial? When I arrive at the third floor, having decided to finish my laundry early, I find Sachi and Makina screaming at each other about food. Fire me! Fire me! What? Why is fiends like that always people's very first thought? That that tells you a lot about who they are. No, you two seem to be discussing your lunch menu, so I was trying to play alone. You were screaming about fatty tuna and spare ribs, right? Weren't you arguing over your meal plans? What? Tuna fish man, is it? 
I've been hearing that name fairly frequently. You have? <laughs> Since entering this school. Since it ends with man, odds are he's some kind of superhero. What? The tuna fish part is slightly harder to decipher. Perhaps it's the nickname of a hardened warrior, a man so tough that even under the harshest enemy interrogation, he stays as cold and inert as the dead fish. Or maybe he's a socially conscious superhero, fighting back against the environmental consequences of tuna overfishing. No. No, I was pondering a little about this tuna fish man character. Not as cool as Larry, boy. Afraid not. I heard the name quite... For, I first heard the name quite recently. Is it? Yeah, I don't think that's true. <laughs> Say, what? What are we about to get ourselves into? I see. Hmm. In my previous school, I usually had my hands full with my studies, so my knowledge of popular culture may be somewhat lacking at the moment. Is that possible? Oh boy, this is going to be terrible, isn't it? Okay then. Hmm. This tuna fish man is still something of a mystery to me, but apparently he's a compelling enough character to make a surreal game like that addictive. But laundry. I think I will. If this character is as famous as you say, it might be best to have at least a passing familiarity with the show. Oh, uh, nope. No, 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 no. I'm just checking it out, right. Sachi dives towards the television set like a runner stealing home, and mashes the power button. <gasps> this is a good bop! Aww. I wanted to hear that more. That was really freaking good music. <laughs> a, com a commercial for a snack food I recognize from my childhood fills the television screen. <laughs> Makina and Sachi are the first years here. They're basically the kids of the group. Okay, well, I'm just gonna say Sachi is many times more mature than Michiru, so... <sighs> Forgive me if I had a hard time believing that. Okay. <laughs> Previously on Tuna Fish Man. Judging from the childlike sparkle in their eyes as they settle on the sofa, it would seem these two really are looking forward to the show. My curiosity peaked, I turned my attention back to the television. Oh no. Oh, we, this, if this is actually going to be like... Uh, you know what, I'll just... Oh, shut up. <laughs> Barbecue belligerent? What? <laughs> this is either going to be the best vein ever or the worst vein ever. I'm leaning towards the latter. <laughs> oh, I can see why he's the villain now. He's trying to tear down religion and replace it with steakhouses. <laughs> he's got a cool design, though. He's a black cow with a red cape and a guitar. <laughs> Mihoshicho. 
リピート率の高い老舗旅館があるそうですみみみそれはいいことを聞いて<笑>じゃあ次はその旅館を焼肉激安食べ放題の店にしてやるべ<笑> Dang, I want that near my house I, I don't have any good barbecue restaurants near my place, and it's a shame. I, I want one. What's with this freak? Why is he wearing that cheap looking mask? Are you saying that wasn't an actual cow with a guitar? <laughs> Dan, I'm on the side of General Spare Ribs! Tuna sucks! <laughs> to me. <laughs> oh, I'm totally voting for Spare Ribs. Sorry, but is there some point to staging a battle between meat and fish? I see. As I told my... <laughs> This song is a bop. <laughs> it has its own theme song. As I tell my head in puzzlement at their explanation, the program's theme song begins to play. <laughs> Fish is sacred in Japan. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. For me personally, I'm rooting for spare ribs. <laughs> まだ発売日すら告知されてなかったはずだけど。データ制作者サイドは一体何をやってるのよさ。なぜばミリオンヒット間違いなしの神曲なのに。This is this is the real world can be a heartless place, especially when it comes to music about fish themed superheroes. Oh! No more theme song! <laughs> What's up, Nick? <laughs> oh boy. This guy's, this guy's the best design. Oh, Dippy's now playing Terraria, everybody! I'm so glad that it's forever memorialized on Twitch and YouTube. Oh wow, they have a separate sprites just for this this TV show character. Is that the exact same voice as Makina? <laughs> These are definitely just repeating the girls' voice actresses. Nice timing, Dabi. Come to the house of 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 the house would you be interested in an all-you-can-eat barbecue restaurant? Yeah, you, you kind of stand out. <laughs> oh no! It's one of those shows. <laughs> Are you saying that this isn't your favorite TV show? No, he, he's a cowboy. I am more invested in this TV show than I am in most of the skits we've had in this game. ああ、要するに何とか将軍役ってことね。ビビ、ヒーロー物の金庫を口にするとは最近のことを夢がないビ。それならさっさと旅館の場所を教えるビ。でもカルビ将軍はクロダ旅館の場所を聞いてどうする
旅館の経営権を奪って大型の焼肉食べ放題店に改装してやるべ Well, you shouldn't steal it, bro. You should legally buy it. Also, like, what's his, what's his evil? What's the point of this? Like, is he like, I want like, to open up a barbecue restaurant because, you know, there aren't that many in Japan and, like, it's a niche market and I think people would enjoy it. Or is he just like, ha ha ha, barbecue evil? Ha 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 ha. Honestly, I hope it's the second one. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you should have done the research of where the inn was before you tried to take it over. <laughs> no, there's no time. You have to call Tuna Fish Man. <laughs> Oh, um, I'm literally able to predict this whole thing. <laughs> yes, we do. Boat cop. <laughs> Ooh, that was shrill. <laughs> that sounded like a horse. <laughs> Ew! That is disgusting. <laughs> that character design leaves a little something to be desired. Ew, and that is a gross sound effect. <laughs> Yeah, I'm rooting for the spare ribs. Oh, brother. <laughs> this this show leaves a little something to be desired as far as the main character goes. Yeah, General Sparrows is way cooler. This is one of those shows where you root for the villain. It's like Tom and Jerry. Huh. So how long is this skit gonna go on? <laughs> What? You're throwing raw tuna meat at him? What? <laughs> oh, brother. Did you just rip part of your own flesh off and throw it at him? What the heck? They're tearing chunks of their own flesh out of e and throwing it at each other. What? Hey. These fiends just started ripping their own stomachs open and throwing their flesh at each other. I see. For a show that's supposedly easy for children to understand, this grim fatalism seems slightly out of place. Yeah, uh, <laughs> that would not fly on a kid's show today.
Perhaps this program has an unexpectedly nuanced message beneath its bizarre surface. What the? <laughs> I agree. <laughs> this show is terrible. どうしたび、マグロマン。こっちにはまだロースも単物残ってる。そう。このままでは。They can't say that word on a kid show. どうしよう、レンゲちゃん。マグロマンのピンチだよ。え?ピンチなのこれ? <laughs> yeah, he's kind of dissected at this point. そんなに心配しなくても大丈夫。私にはまだ Avoid the trim card. Oh my gosh, this is just... Easy, Makina. Did you... <laughs> Deep breaths. <laughs> oh, brother. Jeez, the TV show is way louder than the rest of the game. <laughs> I don't want to be tuna fish, man! Coming soon. That's like the worst thing ever. That's like a fret. <laughs> this is totally not paid for by the fish and meat producers. <laughs> Genius marketing ploy. Hold on a second. I don't care if you want the toy, but did I miss something here? I didn't see a single transformation sequence in this show. マグロマンはいつも登場した瞬間から変身しています <laughs> What's up, Collins? <laughs> We're watching the incredibly terrible Tuna Fish Man TV show. <laughs> He's a fish. It would slip right off. Then, what's that just like the real thing supposed to mean? <laughs> we broke their childhood dreams. Oh no, we have to watch more of this? Oh, that is- that's more than just a little disturbing. <laughs> yeah, it smells bad. <laughs> but I've been saving the beef tenderloin for last! What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't say, Collins. This is filler. I expected this to have a drastic impact on the overall story of the game. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, just let him open his barbecue joint. I want to go there. <laughs> Wrench, don't st don't don't ask questions. Oh my gosh. Not 
Oh boy. Just rule of thumb, if your kid's show is filled with propagandistic messages, it's probably not a good kid show. Honestly, if if you just taught General Spare Ribs to how to run an honest business, then I feel like we could find some common ground here. <laughs> so now I'll throw the inedible parts. Oh my gosh! <laughs> the propaganda is the funniest part of this for sure, but in real life kids TV shows, don't don't stuff your propaganda in there, please and thank you. I'm willing to bet this was one of those parts that got cut from the anime. <laughs> My new power! Silver 9000! <laughs> Not the tuna scrapes! Oh no! You fool! Cows are bigger than tuna! You will run out of meat before me! <laughs> Available at your local supermarket for only $5.99, plus shipping and handling. <laughs> <laughs> There's this thing called parents. <laughs> Bro, you have tons of flesh left. Is, so is he gonna just like regrow all of the flesh he threw at the ever guy, like between episodes or what? <laughs> <laughs> Renge is the only likable character. Well, toddlers aren't the ones who have to recycle. I love the saxophone here. In this world of insanity, Renge is the only normal person. <laughs> Guys, I think Renge is officially best girl. <laughs> Ew! <laughs> Imagine if, like, this creature jumps in while you're facing a problem, saves you, scrapes off part of his flesh, and gives it to you to eat. That would be so freaking weird. あ、いや。そして、今日もマグロマンの活躍により焼肉帝国の野望を阻まれ。だが、このように軽微将軍がいる限り、本当の平和は訪れない。走れマグロマン。戦えマグロマン。このように高骨魚類の助けを求める声が
Wow. So that's a complete story then? I will not be catching the next episode of that. Uh -huh. So today's episode was the so-called heart-pounding, edge-of-your-seat variety. Apparently. I wish I could unsee that. Let's see. It's a little difficult to put into words, but... All said and done, it was definitely not a boring experience. It's no lie to say that I found the setting and plot truly... thought-provoking. That was almost 30 real life minutes. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> You're well prepared. I see. You can take the class rep out of the classroom, but it seems you can't take the zealous devotion of service out of the class rep. They, they won't. <laughs> Oh, brother. She is a kid. <laughs> hmm. An ordinary low-budget television show just inspired a shut-in girl to vigorous action. If you look at it that way, children's superheroes might have more redeeming value than immediately meets the eye. Amine, I just saw the worst vein ever. Nothing much. Up until a minute ago, I was watching a show with Sachi and Makina. True enough, but there was something I'd been a little curious about for a while. Those two were educating me. Incidentally, Amine, tuna is good stuff, isn't it? <laughs> 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 Did you know that there's a special on the leftover parts of tuna at your local supermarket for only five ninety nine plus shipping and handling? Well, I was pondering the topic of seafood, and the thought just popped into my head. Anyway, if I asked for a negatoro bowl right now, could you maybe make one? Hmm, I'm aware it's pretty unusual coming from me. But the fact is, I've developed a sudden craving, f craving for fatty tuna. <laughs> no! It's working! The show's propaganda is getting even to us! I could do without the love. Yeah, I appreciate it. Can you put hate in instead? <laughs> Fresh fish superman, tuna fish man. An eccentric superhero, decidedly unlike any other I've known. But if the spirit of justice burning in his tasty breast can inspire the hopes and dreams of two girls in this dorm, well, in a world that's already overflowing of the tales of heroism, one more can hardly hurt. <laughs>